They call me addiction. I come in many different disguises. I'm cunning. I am baffling. And I am powerful. And I will possess you. I evolve over time. I destroy and... I can kill. It's what I do. I am creative. Oh, in a malicious way. I use secretive and... <laughs> predatory means to harm you. You slip away for a bit. I will retreat. For a time. To watch. To wait. Sneak once again into your thoughts when you are least prepared. I will find a way. I am cunning. I will stop you from reaching your goals. <laughs> you ask how? I am baffling. I keep you confused and in denial, unable or unwilling to understand what is happening to you and what's gone wrong. An isolated boat, adrift in the fog. I know how to keep you from my own use alone. Forsaking all others. In the end, it'll just be you and me until I consume you and your life is destroyed. It's what I do. Cunning, baffling, and powerful. Willpower alone cannot stand against me for long. I will find a way back in. Especially when you are too hungry, too tired, too lonely, or too angry. Each day of your life, you would have to remain vigilant. And not everyone wants to stay so self-aware. And I will hunt for those who do not. Just this once, it's a special occasion. Just one. Tomorrow I'll get back on track. But by tomorrow, or the next day, you can trust that someday I will be back in full force. And with a vengeance, I am malicious. I am more powerful than human will. I evolve. I change. I race ahead. I build my strength. I grow with time. I will consume you. Not today. My name is Ashley Petty and I got involved with this project through an independent theater study class at Red Wing High School in Red Wing, Minnesota. I learned that acting on stage and acting on film are very different. Each one requires me to use both skills and using them together can help me become a better actress. More importantly, I learned a lot about addiction. I learned that it's a chronic disease, one that actually makes changes in the brain. I learned that when we first experiment with things like alcohol or drugs, we find we like them. If we keep using them, we start to want them. But I learned that when we cross over a certain line into addiction, we now need them. I learned that this is called neuroadaptation. A protein in the brain actually changes its form. And now addiction has become a chronic and relapsing disease. With any chronic disease, we have to learn how to manage it. It's not going away. I learned that the ages of 10 to 14 are very important. This is the time of active brain development and the activities that we experiment with are very important. They set the stage for the future. I learned about paying attention to red flags. My body should feel something when it encounters a poisonous substance like drugs or alcohol. If I have a much higher tolerance for drugs or alcohol than my friends do, this isn't a normal human reaction. This is a red flag trying to get your attention. I learned there's a difference between passing out and a blackout. Passing out is when your body has had too much of a poisonous substance and it is going unconscious to recover. Blacking out means your body is functioning pretty normally. You're talking, making sense, and actively doing things. But your mind has gone into a blackout. You'll never remember what happened or what you did. This is a big red flag. For someone like me, who has this in the family history, 
I am more vulnerable, so I have to pay more attention. Remember, addiction is cunning, baffling, and powerful. If you don't pay attention, you'll never see it coming. <laughs>